G'day guys. Today I'll be making four herb and fig wines to around 12% ABV. I use what I call the 2 10 12 method that is 2 kilos of sugar to 10 litres of water makes about 12% ABV. Here though I'm only using 1 litre pots so I'm rounding down to about 200 grams per 1 litre or 1000 mils to still get my 12% ABV. I'm not actually weighing out the sugar as you can see here just eyeballing it between the different pots. If it's a difference of a one or even two percent between each batch, for experimental purposes, I'm not really fast and I'm, and I'm actually not going to take any gravities before I pitch my yeast. I'm very lucky, guys, to have access to a fig tree. So this is one fig per one litres of water. So what I'm doing here is just giving a bit of a hand macerate, if you like, or squash, putting one fig in with the 200 grams of sugar. Next step, guys, is to put in 400 mils of water, boiled to 100 degrees Celsius, which is boiling for the metric system, into each of the five pots. I give each of the pots a quick stir, so I essentially just want to end up with the sugar in solution. Excellent guys, coming back later I've got each of my five pots with my sugar in dilution and my macerated figs on top. You could actually brew directly from this, what I mean is pitch your yeast directly into this once it had cooled down a little bit and you would actually get a fairly serviceable wine. Very ethanol heavy, not much depth to it, and more like a, 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 almost like a gin and fig mix, if that makes sense. To add in a little bit of extra complexity and body, what I'm going to do is put in a small slice of lemon to steep. I'm also adding in a single tea bag split five ways between each jar. Okay, so adding in my herbs now, guys, I've got balm, meadowsweet, coriander, mugwort, and valerian. One of the real appeals for me brewing this way in small jars is the what I call the aquarium factor, where you can pick up your ingredients have a look, see progressively how the brew is going. And it's just a nice visual aspect that you don't get in brewing with plastic. I'm just going to top off now each of my jars with cold water. So we've got approximately a true litre going uh, with each of these all just eyeballed. And how much yeast do we put in? About this much. Should be fine. Perfect. 24 hours later and things are progressing well. I'm getting a couple of visible bubbles from the top of the brew. Uh, it's going nice and hazy with fermentation. I've got some sediment from the yeast down below. And sticking my nose into the brew, I'm just getting a, a whiff of CO2 outgassing at the top which means things are well on track. So really happy with this and seeing where these five brews go. Thanks for watching, guys.